Alexa, turn on the workbench. Okay. My name is Timothy. I've been a maker since long before the term was coined. I was the kid that liked to take things apart to see how they worked, repair them perhaps, or sometimes even try to improve on them. Over the years, I just enjoyed making things, tinkering, coming up with little contraptions to solve some mundane problem. Therefore, the importance of science and the need for integration across the STEM disciplines has always seemed obvious to me, as is the need for 21st century competencies, all of which have been increasingly seen as important facets of educating future-ready students. What I really like and what he emphasised during class is never box yourself in and always think out of the box, think about ways to make the child do critical thinking, like ask why questions, why do they see that, and also try to incorporate the different concepts into what we are teaching uh, today. And even like he brought in his own gadgets, his own laser pointers and lights to see the shadow of the organisms within a pointer, which I think is a, is a brand new idea and sort of inspired me to be a better teacher and think out the box. He would bring in interesting real-life demonstrations, such as the 3D printer that we got to use. He will also use many physical methods to teach computer applications, such as getting us to move around or play with physical objects. This allowed us to understand that teaching computers is more than just being able to use a computer, but being able to think out of the box. So as part of the program, we, are also, uh, we also need to develop lesson packages to teach computer fundamentals. Right, but um, to demonstrate to us how to do that, um, he actually bring in, brought in four different desktops where we open up and we label um, each one of the components. So this actually makes an otherwise very mundane lesson uh, very fun and very engaging. His lessons allow us to see proficient teaching in action and helps us to adapt many of what he has done into the pedagogies which we will use to eventually interact with our students. I've been working with colleagues from the Centre for Innovation in Learning at NIE to make use of the ever-growing availability of microcontrollers like the Arduino, the BBC Microbit, and the many, many modular sensors out there to create simple, affordable, internet-connected scientific instruments that can be used in schools to examine familiar, everyday phenomena. During his lessons on informal science learning environments, he challenges us to use IoT and learn more about the world around us. So, we embark on an IoT-based project using Maker Modes to learn more about it. With this new experience, we will be able to inspire our students to do the same activity in the future. He constantly engages us in meaningful conversations about the science in our everyday lives and uses authentic examples to guide our learning. For many years now, I have also been working on integrating across the sciences as well as across the STEM disciplines, using design-based inquiry approaches to get students to design and make their own microbial fuel cells. The NFT's program has helped our students to become critical thinkers as well as creative problem solvers. So through the NFC program, they actually realise that scientific theories need to be supported by good engineering. The unique thing about this program was that it integrated the three sciences in the making of the prototype, which is different from my everyday science lessons. What I enjoyed most about the lessons was that we could collaborate with each other as a group, look to each other's uh, advices and uh, ideas in order to create the best uh, microbiofuel cell. So we're indeed very blessed to be able to work with Timothy and NIE from the start of the program. So we have been running it for five years and our students have really been exposed to the STEM integration so that they can understand better, which I think will benefit them for long term. Innovative lesson packages alone are worthless without committed, energetic teachers to inspire students, instigate wonder, and a joy for learning. Teachers who focus on how their students learn, and then facilitate their learning. I guess the best way to train teachers to do all that is to do my best to live it, walk that talk, model it for them, and lead the way.